Actually, I think this is 99% germination because only okay, this one under. Let's see, let's see if there's no, they all germinated because I planted them in rows and when I try to move them, all of them have germinated. I've already sprayed them with the organic bag spray. Look at this. So zero cost seeds can still give you good pumpkin seedlings. Don't even wash the seeds. I didn't wash the seeds. I didn't do anything other than just placing on the plates, on an open plate and leaving them out to dry. Hello and welcome to another interesting and informative episode here at 254 Nature Grass. My name is Julie. In this episode, I want to show you how to use zero cost pumpkin seeds to grow pumpkin seedlings and lots of pumpkin. So a short history before we get into the details of how to plant the seeds. As I said before, these are zero cost seeds. Some time back, one of our neighbors gave us a pumpkin and we enjoyed it. I like enjoying pumpkin for breakfast or just as a snack during the day because of its nutritional value. It's good for your skin. It's good for your reproductive system and many other benefits I will share as I go along. So she gave us a pumpkin and I decided to just save the seeds. Here are the seeds. These are the seeds here. So for these seeds, I just scooped out the seed from the middle parts, placed them in a plate and I left them on the kitchen counter. I did not wash the seeds, I did not dry the seeds, I just left them on the kitchen counter. So it's been about uh, more than a month. Look at this. This is still the, the, the thick substance that is usually in the pit. This. So I just left the seeds to dry out and later I came and planted them. And look at what I got. Look at my pumpkins. Look at this. Look at this, wow. So I planted the seeds in uh, rows and it's like I had, this is like 90% germination of the zero cost seeds. And as you see, I didn't wash them. I, do, I didn't do anything on them to get them to germinate like this. I just placed them on the counter, left them up there to just dry. I didn't place them out in the sun. And, and, and afterwards I came and planted them. And this is the result. So do keep in mind to start your seeds indoors if you live in a cold area. As for me, I just started them outdoors. Our temperatures don't go down too much, but they can go high. Make sure you keep the beds moist. Don't let it dry out too much. Plant the seeds one inch deep. Not too deep. They're a little bit uh, <laughs> bigger than I expected because we had some rains. And when it rains, the crops just shoot up so fast. So today we are going to transplant it to a different area. I want to show you the area that I have prepared just around my garden. It has taken me three weeks for my seedlings to get to this stage. So be patient. If uh, you should get some growth in the second week, you should see some growth. Because it can take some time. It also depends on the temperatures in your area. If it's warm and you keep the bed moist, there is faster germination. So give it, for, so for me here it is three weeks 
to get to this stage and they are ready for transplanting. So there's too much going on around uh, this block, this part of my garden. So here I have some little space. For this space, I had demarcated it off just to do some garden flowers, a lot of garden flowers. But recently in my videos, you've been hearing some construction noise, so I got a, a lot of earth for my projects. <laughs> so it's in this area. Behind me are the beans. So right now I'm going to use this area to grow the pumpkins until later we can transfer this uh, soil because we want to create a good decor for our garden. But for now we are going to use it. So this is the area I have prepared. Right here. Make sure you select an area where your plants are going to get sufficient sunlight. There is sufficient sunlight in this area. Some little shading but the sun will go through these leaves. Then for this tree, it sheds its leaves. Once the rains are over and the sun comes back strong, it will shed all its leaves. I'll make sure I, I, I'll do a video soon on the trees I have in the garden. It's a very beautiful tree, but it will shed all its leaves, then it will come back later. The pumpkin has really long vines. It's like the sister to the cucumbers with the long vines that you have to direct. But this one, I'm just going to let it grow down. You can let it grow on the ground or you can plant it on the rooftop. I think I'll, I have to select an area to do one on the, on the roof and just show you how you can support it. So as it grows, you're going to plant your pumpkins. For me, I'm going to do at least a meter apart for, all, for the pumpkin seedlings that will be able to fit in this area. For the ones I cannot grow in this area, I will take them to another space where I can transplant them because I'm not going to lose any seedling there. They're so good. So right here, you're going to, after they grow, you're going to be directing the vines, how you want them to grow. And there's plenty of space here, good sunlight, and remember to keep them well watered. This whole area, behind me up to the beans, so you just organize the vines as they grow. Grow your pumpkin seedlings using compost. Pumpkin will need a lot of uh, the nitrogen when it's growing, then the leaves and the vines are growing. When it starts uh, fruiting, when the vines are growing and fruiting, they need a source of phosphorus. So compost will supply all the nutrients it needs. I've already added compost to this uh, area. So that's what you do. I'm going to reach down deep. If you can't use this system of planting your seedlings, you do it out directly. So the roots have really gone deep. So this is our seedling. So I'm going to get more. Then I've already prepared all the holes. So the rains chased me out of the garden. So this is it. Just make a deep hole. Not so deep because, see? Hope you can see. A hole, put the roots in well, you don't cover any leaves, so I'm going to just play around with this area, remember for this pumpkin, you're expecting like vines to be 6 meters long, like 20 feet long vines, lots of pumpkin, So as they continue growing, I'll be sharing more tips. That's it. This is day one. I've distributed all my seedlings up on this hill. 
in between the beans also remember i'm going to harvest the beans soon so all this space there here in between the beans somewhere inside there this side this is day one This is a 14 days update. This is the one we planted together. So I spread all the seedlings. Look. Look at this. So all this area. So this is a lot of pumpkin. Remember to subscribe to watch more videos. Definitely this is going to be a bumper harvest. I'm going to share the nutrients. I'll be giving the pumpkins as they grow so that you learn. Thank you friends for joining me in this episode. Until next time, let's create a food and garden heaven. Thank you.